You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop and finally getting to the flow. This is ages 6 plus and I'm just reading the outside of the package here before I started the video and I see it says surprise inside, so I don't know what that is. Mold anything, mold everything. And we have the rock and red color and from what it looks like on the picture here, he has molded a pretty spectacular car and uh, based on the size I would say we need a lot more flow to do that. A lot more flow. Now look at all the different things they have here. It says roll it, mold it, cover it. That's the way you flow it. Okay. After you're done, squish flow back in the container and use it again and again or let your creation harden overnight and keep it forever. Ooh, that's cool. So here is the Series 1 colors and here is the Series 2 colors. Now let's, uh, I don't see an easy way to get in so I'm just going to take my knife and slice all around here. My camera focus on that. Why are you having such a hard time? There you go. So we'll see what the surprise is. That's all that's in the packaging. And here is a Flom booklet showing you all the cool things you can do with Flom. Getting started. Wash your hands with soap and warm water and dry your hands before starting. Organize your supplies on a clean dry surface such as a kitchen table away from carpeting and fabrics. That's pretty good. You definitely don't want to do this in carpeting. Uh, project ideas. Make a monster. Make an egg-shaped ball. Basic tips. Here are some simple tips to begin making amazing creations. I'm just kind of reading down this whole list. Project idea. Make a monster. Okay. So here again, here's all the colors. And Flom. Let's get in here. Enough of the reading. Let's see what my bonuses. My bonus, I think, is this little heart-shaped thing. Wow, what a bonus. Now, that didn't, that didn't open too well. I'm going to have to get my knife in here. It's sticking to my plastic. See that? So it's really wet. I wonder if my foam needs to be worked a little bit. Let me get it out of here. And right now it's really sticky and gooey. Look at that. My hands have turned pink. And I don't know why. Could it be that my foam has gone bad? Or just needs to be worked a little bit more? I wonder if there's a... I know with my GAC there was some problems with that. And I think there's problems with this. I might have to let this air dry a little. Let me stick it back here, let that sit. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to leave it sit for a little while, probably a good half hour. Let this air dry. Because I cannot use it like this. Not easily, anyway. So I'll come back. I'm going to wash up, let this sit, and see if we can get this to work. Okay, I'm back. I'm very happy to report I was able to restore my phloem. How did I do it? Well, I just took it, put on a flat tray, and just kept spreading it out, spreading it out, and putting it by a fan. And that was able to uh, dry it out enough. As you can see, it's not on my hands anymore. Just a little bit. Probably can let it dry out more. But now I can actually shape it and form it and make things and put designs in it. See, it holds the heart really well. So that is cool. Now it still does stick to my hands in certain spots, but comes right off when I do that. So now it's definitely working better. Pretty cool. Have you ever seen this? Played with it? We've had a lot of requests for Flom. It does feel neat in your hands. It's almost, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say. It's like squeezing little rocks or little beads. Let me see if I can get a close-up shot of that. Pretty neat. Get that all off my hands. And I want to show you one more thing because let me get this out of the way. So now you know what this stuff does. We have another product that we've done. This one is called Gazit. Now Gazit you usually see in a dollar store and it's a foam product just like Flom. 
But as you can tell, they're two totally different consistencies. And I always wondered, what's the difference? Well, here we go. Of course, when you look at, still little pieces stuck everywhere, the phloem, they're very small, and then compare it to the gazette, and look, much larger. Now this, definitely more dense for the same amount. This seems to hold together a lot better, let you mold a lot better. This one works and you can play with it, but it's just not the same consistency. So let me see if I can get you real close to both. Their colors are intermixing now, so let me zoom into these. How's that? Get all that stuff off my hands. So you could tell, definitely different, noticeably different, two totally different products. So that's the gazette on the left and the phloem on the right. I'm going to say the phloem is definitely much cooler, much better. Oh, get out of there, Gazette. Easier to mold. Feels cool. This one here, just is a little airy and kind of kind of weak almost. But for a buck, you know, it's still something to play with, right? So there you go. That is the Flown video. Our first one. Now, we'll probably come back maybe when we find more colors and have more fun with it. But we just wanted to show you what we have. And it's hard not to keep messing with it. And thanks for watching. It's really appreciated. Later. If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching. And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.